Reckon. Welcome to today's news. From wherever you're listening from, I greet you. Stay tuned as I read today's news. According to the president, the country recorded some significant achievements in the year despite the thumb banners that characterized the economy. President Mamadou Bouhari has assisted his administration performance in various sectors of the economy in the outgoing year 2021, declaring that the, recover, the recovery of the, nations, of the nation's economy remained on a steady path throughout the year. Bari disclosed this in his January 1, 2022 message to Nigeria. According to the president, the country recorded some significant achievements in the year despite the Tambanars, the characterized and economic. The message obtained by Sahara reporters partly read, we equally remember and commiserate with Nigeria who have lost loved ones as a result of insecurity in different parts of the country. Every life matters and every single death caused by any form of insecurity is a matter of personal concern to me, both as a citizen and as the president of this great country. We remain fully committed to upholding the constitutional provisions that protect all Nigeria from all forms of internal and external aggression. On the economy, we have shown a high level of reticence to record some significant achievements despite the tambanas that has, that has characterized our economy and indeed the global economy. The lesson we had we had learned from the lesson we rather the lesson we have learned and keep learning from COVID-19 had encouraged us to intensify efforts to mitigate its social economy effects on our nation. The major wins we have recorded can be clearly seen in Nigeria's most recent gross domestic product GPD, GDP figure released by the National Borea at Statistics NBS. The 4.03% growth recorded in the third quarter of 2021 in indicative of the recovery being recorded in our economy and the confidence confidence that is being shown through the police through the police the policies and our administration has put in place after the outbreak of the pandemic we may also record that this recent growth is closely followed by the 5.5.1 percent year on year growth in real times recorded by Nigeria in quarter 2 of 2021. The growth was one of the best recorded by any nation across Sub-Sierra Africa. The 5.1 growth at the time was the rem was and remain the highest growth recorded by the Nigeria economy since 2014. Despite the challenge we have faced as a nation, the good news is that we have we have so far recorded four consecutive quarters of growth after the negative growth rate recorded in quarter two and quarter three of 2020 due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. On August 16, 2021, I signed the landmark Petroleum Industry Act into law, the signing of, the, of this legacy. Legislation is a watershed moment in the history of our nation, considering the massive posi positive impacts the new acts would have, would have on the economy. I would like to sincerely commend it commend the ninth assembly for the grief for the great they demonstrated succeeding where other have failed and the cooperation that led to the compl completion of this process after almost two decades just like i started
during the invest investment trips and fora that I have attended recently. The legislation is expected to serve as a liberalizing force in the energy industry and we are optimistic that this law will provide the much needed leg legal governance regulatory and fiscal framework for the development of the energy sector the host communities the nigeria as a nation are objective to increase local fight natural gas exports and expand expand our domestic market is still very much at the forefront of some of the policies we would be pushing in in the new year in year 2022 and going forward our administration would in intentionally leverage ict platform to create job why is why is that the diversification of our economy creates more support to other emerging sector i am proud to announce that several foreign investors and take talking taking advantage of our ranking as one of the leading startup ecosystem in africa to invest in our di digital economy Amidst the president claims the country's deadly finance had come under intense pressure as the government is broke and has been amazing foreign loans. For example, Minister of Labor and Employment Chris Ngigi, why doctors were on strike over poor allowance at in September 2021 confirmed that the Nigeria government under President Muhammad Bari borrowed fund from international source to pay salaries of workers because of a short fall in the country revenue. Ingigi had said the government took borrowed funds from foreign institutions like the World Bank of offsets some recurrent expenditures. Also, the ministers of finance, of financial, finance, budgets, and national planning, Zainab Ahmed, had in April 2021 admitted the Nigerian economy was facing a dif difficult time, saying borrow was inevitable. Dear listener, we've come to the ends of today's news. Please let's see what what people view about this news was at the comment section. I have a comment here which is empty boast. The north is bleeding, is bleeding. It's common knowledge, and northerners are not finding it funny anymore. They are crying to worry. The president paid the deaf, paid deaf ears. They implored his concern. He treated their and terrorists and careful in the free, in the free sense. Northerners are becoming desperate. They wanted a northern president at all costs. When good luck Jonathan was fighting Boko Haram, the North said it was deliberate ploy to reduce the population of northerners. Well, I agree with, with what this comment is saying here. I have another comment here which says, It's you, my president. It's you, Mr. President, and your lazy politics that survived in Kutsi of political loathing come to the streets and said this and see whether you will not be stoned even in your state castina nigeria is bleeding under your watch and you are still boasting of economic tokumbanas which your record is zero calamities hmm. is the end of the, today's news please do drop out the comment section let's see what your view is all about